been a while, hasn't it? This is Sir Tap Tap, and let's resume playing off. I have been made aware of a replayability feature here. Does Zone 1 have... No, Zone 1 is not different. Did I not open this chest? How did I not open... Uh, oh well. Um... How do I get out of here? I can't believe I didn't open that chest. There was nothing good in it. Just the silver flesh that I never use. I never use MP recovery items, because they're usually rare and I can't buy them. And If I can buy them, they're expensive. and I just never use them. They're, they're almost like elixirs for me. Possibly worse. But yeah, if you come back to the previous zones of Purified, they're all whited out. You get creepy music. And you get new enemies! That are apparently really good to farm on. I'm... I forgot they kind of burn up your CP for no reason when you put on auto. It's apparently really good for farming, for experience and stuff. I like the creepy music they have. And they have new items. I don't remember if that's a droppable item. How do I... How do I menu? There we go. Competence. It's inspiration. It's probably equipment. Can I equip any inspiration? Is that... no? No? No, I don't have to go into that. Well, what is inspiration? Ugh, I really hate the O. Utilizable? <laughs> Object that's utilizable in combat. That's... It's one of those translation things where it's not incorrect, it's just no one would ever say that. But yeah, the maps are a bit different. New enemies stuff. Um, and there's a bunch of new drops, I get, or not drops, new treasure chest items. So, what I'm thinking is I'll probably just run through these, um, and speed up the recording. Um, and, you know, stop if there's anything interesting to show you, like, I'll show off any new enemies, like, the whole fight, the first time. And if I find anything cool, I'll show you, but I mean, it seems like it's otherwise fairly boring, um, you know, replaying, or uh, backtracking, that's what I'm trying to say. So, see you when we're done with that. Interesting fact number one, not all the areas are revisitable. Like, you probably, you might not have noticed, but when I went back through there, the exit to the mine was not, oh. This is a dead end. Yeah, so it seems like you can't revisit the whole area. Um, still kind of boring, so I'm still going to skip over stuff, but it's not as mind-numbingly painful as I had feared. But, yeah. Let's take a quick peek at level... or area 2. I guess this won't take as long as I was afraid of. Assuming the others are similarly. Hmm. Wonder if that sign was readable the first time. But I like how like creepy and screwed up these places seem when they're purified. It's like I don't know. It's almost like, did you do the right thing? Is this better? Are all the signs unreadable? Yeah. Golden flesh, yay. Alright. Do we see these guys before? I don't think we have. I, I will still put it on auto, though. You know, you guys have area of effect attacks, but you know... 
That's a nice sound effect. Don't mind me as I sit here playing Harvest Moon, a new beginning, waiting for the battles to end. This is why when I, I recently replayed, um, well, still replaying Legend of Ligaia, one of my favorite um, PlayStation RPGs, um, I have it on super turbo battery consume mode. I've been playing it on my phone, and it's much more tolerable at super high speed. Or as super high speed as my phone can get, it gets about... It usually averages around 240 frames per second, which considering the, you know, that's kind of impressive for uh, PlayStation emulation, because most of the stuff I play is like Game Boy Advance and, you know, stuff that doesn't have much processing necessity, but this is stuff with full 3D graphics and you know, low quality 3D graphics, of course, but still, whoa. Question mark? Whoa. What? Oh, right. It's the mindfuck town. I forgot. It's the store. Blocks are still yellow. Can I... Yeah. Everything's just blank. And spooky. It's the cat thing. Color of sadness. Its face is gone. Did it have a face before? Considering this game, I would not have be surprised if its face was gone before, but I don't think it was. I do like this, the creepy mode with the... I guess it was creepy before. But with everything empty and stuff, and see all the stuff is gone? I think all the monsters... Yes! Oh no! Maze! Why, Maze? I just want your precious items. gonna be like silver flesh or some crap. Oh, Belial's meat. That... Ooh! That doesn't suck. How do I menu? Ugh. War of Greatness. Absolutely no different. Wait, what? Why is it unlisted that it reduces my defense? That's dumb. I bet it only shows improvements or the same stats. I don't... I don't know. And Color of Sadness is the same crap. Is there like some special stat? Or special... I don't know. Maybe there's an unlisted effect there, but it doesn't seem like it. Oh well. Back to speed up time. Camtasia derped up and crashed. But you didn't miss anything. I'm still exploring the tower with the books. And the evil cat. I can never remember the name of these freaking places. But yeah, you missed nothing. I don't even seem to be getting good items here, but... I am getting good experienced. And experienced drama, apparently. What does that do? Experienced drama. Oh. Meh. Nah. Let's see what we got at the top. Oh, we got a bookcase. Wait. Let's see if we can read anything? Whoa! We can read something! It's a miracle. Drawing from his waning forces, he created the library, more beautiful than ever before. Its height pierced the smoky clouds, then, but there, and there he stood. I wonder if somebody's put together all of those page numbers, and if they make like a recognizable book. I didn't think of doing that not myself. Yeah, I tried reading the books before. Oh. I didn't I mean the readable books, not the, you know, unreadable books with the suits of cards. Oh well. 
Back to skipping. What do you want to bet that item I just got is complete garbage? Oh, ho, ho. it's not complete garbage. Well, well, well. I just noticed E Spirit. E Spirit, really? Well, the batter is slightly better protected. Um, if anyone knows if those items are, like, if they do have some unlisted special effect, um, throw a comment and say, you know, what they do. Um, for all I know, they do have some unlisted effect, but... Oh, hey, new enemy. They're all, like, doll-slash-baby things. Oh, wait, I meant to do auto. <coughs> It's unfortunately a fairly common thing for old, you know, classic style RPGs to give you weird items with weird special effects that they never expose in the via the interface. You know, they never say, oh hey, this gives you plus two to baby eating skills. Which, I really hate that about old games. I mean, if your item does something awesome, like, <clears throat> tell me. But, I don't know if that's supposed to be the case. Or if these are just, you know, good but not amazing items. This door's white. I don't remember this being here. No, this just goes back to the sugar thing. I should probably heal that poison. Who's po oh! Omega is poisoned. Uh, I shall heal Omega. There you go. The echoes and whispers thing is sort of a cliche at this point, but I still kind of like it for some creepy atmosphere. Piles of sugar. To be epidermis. Hey, this one is very slightly better. I don't... Oop. I don't remember if any one of these guys needs... Like, is more important than the other, so I'll just give it to the one that has the lowest defense. So the replaying sections are less boring than I had feared. I like that it... It's not only less area to cover, it's different in like a weird, eerie sort of way. That we did climb up the smokestack, I remember this. Was it this tall before? And into the ravine. Doink. I think that's our way out. Nothing here. Thump. Let's go to question mark, question mark, question mark. You've never lived until you've gone to question mark, question mark, question mark. Oh, it's this area. Ple okay, good. I was gonna say, please don't tell me those doors open. Alright, well, we shall return when, when things are less boring. You probably didn't see it in the eh, healing time, in the sped up thing, but holy freaking crap, these things give a lot of experience. Especially when half your stuff is like dead. And by half, I mean one. So, yeah, this third area seems to give really crazy experience. And stuff was already giving pretty good experience. Uh, there's a few too many twists and passageways in this area. 
so I don't think I will bother to explore absolutely everything. I'll just go ahead and do stuff. Alright, I'm gonna make sure my oven doesn't explode. Hold the phone, what? Um, suddenly feel unsafe. It's the big empty void. Back to the door. Hmm. Suddenly reminds me of Yumi Nikki. There were lots of big empty spaces where I had no idea what to do. I think it's just meant to be there to be kind of creepy. Oh well. Back to fast forwarding. This would be such a pain to edit. Okay, so those enemies in Zone 3 are <clears throat> actually really brutal if you get two or three of them at once, so definitely be wary of that. I didn't really notice until I ended up with like two people dead all of a sudden. Wait, I did get one extra competence out of this. Wait, was that just the experience drama? I think it was. Wait, what's waiting? Oh, that's just... Oh, whoa, whoa, no, no, don't quit. Let's go back to the room. The room. Sparkle! I completely forget... Oh, right. I remember that part. How bad does that hurt? Not much at all. Okay. Creepy doll! I think we were going down this way, past this giant guy. Oh god, no. Oh. There was a puzzle I'm supposed to be doing. Is it 3755? Um... Shit. I completely forget what I'm supposed to do with this guy. Ow. Oh, right, and these are the guys where I screwed up all of the freaking questions and didn't get any of the awesome whatever crap they are about to give me. Demon Horn Ghosts! I remember you guys. You are very weak compared to the guys I was just fighting. These things are mean. Well, let's kill these guys. Also, I noticed some more weird translation things, like, um, there was something, like, one, I think the long chain skill does important damage, which was clearly supposed to be critical damage, not important damage, but, I was wondering how these things slip by translation, like, I mean, sure, it's a literal translation, but, uh, um, just all zeros, no. Three, seven, five, five. That's all I see. I I don't get. Maybe it's just five, five. Uh. I'll have to look up how to do this stupid thing. <laughs> 